In this short video, I'll show you how to configure a couple of advanced security features within the OptiSigns web portal. First, we'll want to log in to the web portal, app.optiscience.com. Something to note about OptiSigns is that within the web portal, everything can be put into a folder. You can have screens in folders. If we go to our files and assets, you can have files and assets in folders. You can have your playlists organized into folders and even your schedules organized into folders. Another notable feature of OptiScience is we support unlimited users. This means that you can have anyone in your organization log in to OptiScience. That can get a little difficult to manage. From our drop down menu here in the upper right hand corner, you'll want to navigate to the account members page. The account members page shows everyone invited to your account. The features I'd like to show today are mainly for our Pro and Pro Plus users. The first one I'd like to highlight is making teams. By default, all of your account members will be in the default team. In order to add a new team to your account, you'll want to scroll down to the bottom of your list of users and select add team. Once you select add team, you have the option to name the team. If you have any free licenses that you haven't paired a screen with or added, you can allocate licenses. And then you can add a note that shows the purpose of this team. Once you have all of your teams configured, you can add users invite new users, manage your users roles, and even manage the number of licenses allocated to the team. So a team within OptiSigns represents a group of users, content, and screens. If we go ahead and navigate to the top here, you'll see I'm doing everything today under team two. So if I go to our screens page, even though from the home screen of the screens page, we only see one screen. If I go to my subscription plan, you can see that this account has much more than one screen. So we're only viewing the screens for this team. An additional layer of security that you can implement behind teams is folder level security. In each of the locations where we have content and screens and folders, we'll have three dots somewhere that we can click on. When we choose those, we'll wanna choose the change permissions option. Within the permissions menu, you'll by default have the folder allocated to the team where it was created, and then everyone on that team. When tagging and adding new users, you can tag individual teams or users, even if they're outside of your team, to allow for more incremental control within your security setting. You also have the option to allow these users to just view or edit and view the content. To access these very same security settings for your files and assets, you'll simply need to view the folder, hover over it, you'll see the three dots, and then change permissions. Once again, for the playlists, the same thing. You'll want to be viewing your folders. Hover over the three dots and select change permissions. Schedules, the same as playlists. You want to be viewing the folders. Hover over the three dots and change permissions. The combination of folder level security in Teams allows for a very robust and secure structure to your OptiSigns web portal backend. If you have any questions or issues getting this configured, you can always reach our support team at support at or utilize the little green help buttons in the bottom right hand corner of our web.